13 degrees lovely morning the heat wave I believe is uh, has come to an end I can say for the past two months it's, well, it's 20 to 9 now and it's been like 25 degrees already sounds like I'm moaning I promise you I'm not it's been amazing it's been good for everybody lifted the morale no end it's just been scorching every single day good morning welcome welcome to the channel if you've never been here before my name is Richie Vida and I make uh, loads of videos on bikes mostly on this baby that I'm on right now this morning for uh, VFR fans. I'm off to uh, Honda in Derby to uh, have some work done because my little lady failed its MOT on um, front brakes not activating the brake light so uh, he tried to replace the switch and it didn't do anything. Could be something more sinister but anyway I've got it booked in to have it sorted and I've asked him to put new pads on and uh, all new brake fluid throughout because it hasn't been done in about tant had new fluids for about at least 40,000 miles I don't know how often you lot change your brake fluids but yeah it's not been changed for a long time so in fact it might even be more than that in fact it's a lot more than that the last time the brake fluids were changed was I bet it's more like 60,000 ago so new pads and new brake fluids I don't think it needs discs it's, as I said it's been a great summer and thus I've been out on the bike a lot so although there's not been too much activity on the channel rest assured that I have tons of footage to come for you it's just been that hot and, and gorgeous outside I've not wanted to sit in editing I've wanted to be riding and it, to, to be honest it has been too hot to sit in studio editing so yeah I've got even to the point I've had to buy four terabyte <laughs> uh, more of storage so I can store all the stuff because normally what I'll do I'll I'll film something and then uh, produce a video and then delete it all because I don't need it once the video is up to the the world wide web then I don't need the files anymore so I just delete them so it keeps my computer all fresh and whatever but I've got that much at the moment there's obviously all the Wild Atlantic way to go there's the uh, rest of the Wild Weekender to go I've got all the bike reviews on the Suzuki bikes so I've got loads of videos on the uh, GSX-S family of bikes the GSX-R, 1000R, the Hayabusa the rest of the Brunting Thorpe trip to do um, plus just normal random rides as well in between those so I have got a lot of footage and it'll tide me over for when the weather turns I've got some more bikes coming as well soon alongside the, the the Suzuki's I mean we are getting towards the end of our uh, of the, the 2018 fleet of bikes with Suzuki so uh, I mean there's a few more bikes to have yet but we are getting towards the end of it but I do hope to keep working with Suzuki in the future it's been lovely and I'll tell you one little funny story this is how good this is how good that company is and I'm, I'm saying this as a genuine point of view you know uh, like I say I'm not getting anything out of uh, the loan of their bikes I'm just getting a chance to play on them and, and get an education really about all these new bikes and uh, how they all feel you know what I like and what I don't like but um, so um, Monday last week we picked up uh, the brand new Hayabusa and the uh, GSX R1000R two absolutely stonking bikes the flagship models for Suzuki so we picked them up Monday morning last week and as we were all, as they were rolled out of the workshop the guy said right lads they've got brand new tyres on both bikes so just be careful obviously you're going to be careful anyway Egon's actually going on holiday so he didn't get a bike so I just had two bikes off him Egon took us down in his car to pick the bikes up and then we rode them home so we rode them home got home then uh, Gaz took the GSXR home and I took the uh, Hayabusa home and uh, I went out on the Hayabusa to make a vlog so I wanted to try and maximise our time on them before they go back I was half an hour into my ride pulled up at, a, at a, one of my favourite little spots walking back to the bike noticed a massive bolt or something in the back tyre ruined ruined 
know, I texted Mr. Suzuki and said, told him the situation. I said, I'll try and pull, I'll try and sort it. And sorry about it, like it's, it's an accident. In fact, all the miles I've ever done, and I'm hoping I'm not tempting fate. All the miles I've ever done in my time on this and other bikes, you know, Norway, all the way across America, all this, I've never once had a nail in the tyre. And I please not, please don't, <laughs> I'm not tempting fate. Um, so I apologised, and he said, I said, no, listen, you don't have to sort it, it's our job. So they sent someone up from Suzuki to take the Hayabusa, take it back, put a new tyre on it, and bring it back. How amazing is that? That's great. Great, great, great. Uh, but yes, I have got a couple more exciting bikes to come that are not Suzuki. And I'm very, very, very excited about both of them. But all will be revealed in time. This bike is perfect. Do you know what? I'm a bit worried because I've been riding all these new ones from Suzuki and I fell in love with it a little bit with the GSX-R 1000R. <coughs> it's insane. And I was worried that this one would feel a bit like old next to it. Do you know what? No way. This still feels... It's still as important as it's ever been, this bike, to me. And I love her dearly. Comfortable, solid, beautiful to look at, and my partner in crime. So I've got loads of work to do today. So I'm hoping um, either I get to the Honda dealer and they give me another bike to take out while they fix this one or they just keep me for a couple of hours while they fix this because I've got loads to do this afternoon I can't afford to be sat around all day well I can't, I've got stuff to do so it has to be done pretty sure they said half nine but I've put in my phone nine o'clock it's ten to nine now so I'm not too far from there must remember to use my rear brake because the front brake doesn't activate the brake light and I do not want anyone running into the back of me it's quite funny actually because when we're at the weekender we had the big ride out on the Saturday and um, we pulled up for a break somewhere and one of the lads behind me said God you don't use your brakes very often do you? and I thought, are you sure? I thought, I'm sure I do I know we've been having a nice spirited ride but I'm pretty sure I'm um, in fact if anything I think I'm on my brakes a little bit too much. You know, I don't, I don't need to be on them as much as I am. As it turns out, my bloody uh, front brake light doesn't work. I've got um, I've got more stuff that I want to do in on bike. I want a new chain on it. I want it servicing. Um, I won't mind uh, fluid changing its shocks and all. Never had that done. But I didn't want Honda to do it because I want to film a video of us all doing it, me and lads. Because we've all got bits uh, to be done. Remember, back brake, back brake. That uh, GSXR has only got a 16 litre tank, so I'm really noticing that at the moment. Seems like you're filling it up every two seconds, whereas I'm used to a 22 litre tank on this one. And I'll tell you something, you can't believe how much 20 kilos, how different the difference 20 kilos makes. 202 kilo, uh, 203 kilos, the GSXR. And this is 222, I believe, something like that. And it feels totally different. You know when you're manoeuvring it round? When you ride it, it makes no difference, but when you're moving it round, it just feels like it doesn't weigh anything. The GSXR doesn't weigh anything. It's weird. Ever so weird. You wouldn't have thought 20 kilos would make that much difference. And then you've got the Hayabusa, which is 270 kilos, or 266. So you And you really notice that when, you, when you're manoeuvring it around. That is one big, heavy lump. Going back to something I was saying whilst riding the GSX-R, about riding like a gentleman. You know, you you folks know how I ride. I ride as I'm riding now, you know. Go fast when I can and it's safe, but I don't act irresponsibly or as a nuisance at all. Because this bike makes you ride like a gent. Whereas on that bike, the gentleman thing goes out the window because it's just got that much readily available power you use it. It would make you just want to be nuts all the time, on back wheel all the time. And this, folks, is the city of Derby. Very salubrious it is too. I like Derby, actually. Perfect time, nine o'clock, and it's just around this corner. Look at that for timing, nine o'clock, bang on the nose, Honda.
Oh, folks, look at this. Jesus. Oh, no, I'm going to be wet through. This is going to be a horrible journey home. I've got my leather on. It's a good job I didn't come in mesh, which I very nearly did. It's thundering. I'm going to get wet through. Oh, God. I've got material gloves on. I've got jeans on. But I can't been wet for God knows how long. Oh, dear me. Anyway, uh, that work done. Um, yeah, the front brake, I don't know if I mentioned before, the front brake, that's what it failed on. Um, it didn't happen. Whoa, see that's in front of me then. No, there was nothing to this. Whoa! Uh, it didn't happen. Whoa, see that's in front of me then. It wasn't sinister, it was just uh, one of the connectors all corroded, so. Cleaned it up and it's working fine, but he did say it's definitely ready for a service, which I know that anyway, so I'll get that done before I really make any more miles on it. Luckily, I've got these other bikes to play on Anta for the time being. Some right foot, right uh, lightning going off. Please don't strike me. Oh dear, folks. <laughs> First bit of rain I've seen in God knows how long. But I really, really wish I weren't in uh, Kevlar jeans and leather jacket. He's given me a, a health check sheet as well. And like I say, there's a couple of bits that need some attention. He says it needs um, an engine flush. So there's a bit of shit in the oil. So, so I'll get that done uh, during the next service. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna say at least I've got nice weatherproof, nice waterproof boots on, but they're not gonna stay waterproof when my jeans let loads of water in, which will sink down into my boots. So it'll not let water out, will it? Let's just get home, get in the shower, and then get back to work. I've treated myself as well, folks. <laughs> I know a couple of you have mentioned on uh, a couple of the last videos that it's about time I bought some new gloves, because look at the state of these. I had to cut the finger end off on the uh, Wild Bad Weekender because the little uh, phone pad things had worn off. But I've just bought another set of them, because they're lovely. Perfect for hot weather riding. So yeah, I bought another set. Ooh, a lot of water on the roads. But I'm gonna go across here again. A lot of water. It's only started raining about 10 minutes ago. Not, not, not like uh, wet through roads to zap your confidence. I am on Michelin R5s though, so I ain't bothered. This is a very crap junction, isn't it? Go on, love. You f that will look you, ain't it? Well, bike's definitely going to be wet after this, let me tell you. So we'll get a good engine flush, he said. Put it in before before dropping the oil. Let it run round, then, then drop it, leaving the filter on. Fill it up again with oil, clean oil. Put some more in, flush it again. Let it drop out, drop the oil filter, and then new oil and filter on. Do you know what, I don't actually feel too bad at this moment in time. I've got that uh, Renapore um, leather treatment stuff that I always put on me. I give it a, me leather jacket a couple of treatments of that every year. It obviously make, it, it feeds the leather and it uh, makes it more supple and it also waterproofs it a bit. And uh, I put it on my boots and that as well. Bought it from the bike show a few years ago. It's right good stuff. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't, my body doesn't feel at all wet. My gloves are wet through. And my jeans are wet through. Hey, I tell you something, I'm glad I've not come down here on that bloody super sport. I'd have been panicking now, let me tell you. <laughs> that traction control would have been straight up to number 10. What temperature are we on? It's got to be uh, about 15, I'd say. I'm going to swap that over in a sec. He's got the water temperature switched on because the battery's been disconnected. So I'll switch that back across in a second. See what we've got. 11. 11. That's, a, that's the coolest it's been for a long time. A whole lot of rain coming down, kids. Woo! Well, I don't know what to say. It is almost flooding. Oh no, the poor bikers. Oh no. See them, <laughs> them push bikers there, the cyclists, the massive puddles to the right hand side, to the left hand side, and they're having to 
that lorry were going through them and almost skittling them off with it all. Oh dear. This is quite scary, this is. Piece of car in the middle of the road there. Oh, my legs are wet through. <laughs> 10 degrees. Can you believe the temperature's dropped this much? It used to be 30 degrees the other day for, for the past two months. Putting the good old uh, Michelin Road 5s to the test today, aren't I? To go too fast because of uh, aquaplaning. Can't really see what's on the road. This is ridiculous. Woof. Wowzers. This is a lot of rain, folks. Can't really see. Oh, visor's clean. My pin lock's working. But there's that much spray. When I said a minute ago about me leather being uh, quite waterproof, I've uh, changed my mind. I am soaked to the bone. Where's the Gore-Tex suit when you need it? Oh no. Me balls are wet. Me arse is wet. Me hands are freezing. Me elbows are wet. I can't see a damn thing. I need to get in front of this lorry. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. Take your time, folks. Take your time. Get past this lorry. Well, at least it gives me leather a clean. Take your time, folks. Let's all get home safe. Oh, I'm wet through. Folks, I am absolutely wet through. Oh, dear. Get a little bit clearer of uh, spray up here, though. Looks like it's definitely set in for a while, this storm, though. I might dry out if it keeps like this. It's only, uh, it's only spitting a bit now. I think this has got to be the first bit of rain since that massive downpour we had in Ireland that lasted for about an hour. And that island seems forever ago now. Well, folks, would you believe that this is only five hours later? I got straight home, got all my clobber off, got it hanging up. The weather's changed, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to get back out again. Let everything else air properly with the uh, weather <laughs> instead of just sat there in the garage. Unbelievable. I've got full leathers on now, which I don't very I don't have on very often. I figure I'm on a thousand cc Super Sport, so why not have full leathers on? Yes, as you can see, I am now back on the beautiful GSXR 1000 R. Oh. Don't move very much in these uh, leather bottoms. They're a bit tight. Not round the waist before you start. No problems in that department at the moment. It's round knees. They're tight round knees. Can't really see anything. Show you my old school folks when I was a kiddie witty. Don't know if you can drive down it anymore. Wow! <laughs> That's my old school. God, it, it just feels like I were here yesterday. I wonder how it's changed inside. That'll do for a photo. Oh, yes. God, I've walked across them bridges a time or two, folks. <laughs> God, this seems right weird being back here. 
I'm probably going to get a security kick in my ass in a minute because it'll all be CCTV'd. Quite rightly so. God, it, it just it looks exactly the same as it's ever done. Oh, it's weird. It's just really weird to think. You know, I would have been a. What would I have been? 13? 13 year old? Crazy! I'd love to go back inside. See what it's like inside. God, it's weird. English block. Wow. Set fire extinguisher off in that English block. <laughs> Sorry about that. I would, I'd love to go back in there and see what it's like. What a lovely vantage point to be looking at the setting sun. That's cool, isn't it? You know, change gear without having to use your clutch. And uh, for those that missed that bit uh, on the Brunting Thought video, if you've never ridden with a, a quick shifter before, I would say it's a very worthwhile addition to any bike. So you don't drop your you don't drop your revs. You leave the revs pinned wherever they are, and you just change gear as normal. Leave your revs pinned and don't pull the clutch. Changes instantaneously, seamlessly as well. No jerk. No nothing, no loss in uh, performance. I'll show you in a minute when we go up here. Oh, oh quick change. All right, listen. No clutch. See? No loss in performance whatsoever. So quick, so quick. I think it's safe to say that I am a super fan of this bike. A real, real fan of it. It is absolutely incredible. Nothing, nothing as a... Uh... Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Just the front end is just so... So light! Ho, 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 ho. Jesus! That is one hell. I've said it a million times now on this bike. It's one hell of a bike. 